Everybody loves a fun trip to Sonic for some burgers and a shake. But if you're a fan of Sonic's ice cream, we have some bad news for you. Because according to multiple employees and ex-employees, that ice cream is a bad, bad idea. Why? Strangely, the problems seem to have started in 2010, when Sonic began serving actual ice cream. Prior to that, their menu offered a soft serve item that wasn't actually ice cream at all. According to CBS News, Sonic's CEO at the time, Jay Clifford Hudson, was forthright about the fact that the item they were phasing out wasn't really ice cream. The new ice cream is richer, it is thicker, it is creamier than our current soft serve which is what we have to call it because that's what it has been, a non-ice cream, lower-fat dairy product. Serving real ice cream instead of product would seem like a good thing. But according to a Reddit thread featuring a number of Sonic employees and managers, real ice cream causes a lot of problems behind the scenes. That's because the downward-facing blades on the blender Sonic uses to make their ice cream blast tend to get gummed up quick, especially when customers add in a bunch of candy and other toppings. So the blender has to work extra hard. So hard, in fact, that it often causes the cups to burst. Most employees start over with a new cup, but that takes time and extra effort. So some actually take the shortcut of just using a second cup, meaning the remains of the first cup just get blended into the mix. That papery texture in your blast? It might be actual paper. And there could also be chunks of plastic in there from the cup's lid. As one former manager wrote, the blast by far are the worst to make, and the more complicated you order it, the harder it is to make, and the more I hate you. Even if you don't get bits of your cup blended into your blast, there's always the chance you'll have it made by someone like the Redditor who admitted when it came time to refill his candy station, it was just easier to use bare hands instead of the proper ladles. And others say the ice cream isn't all it's cracked up to be. One former employee describes ice cream that comes in bags marked 10% real ice cream, which are then poured into what's essentially ice cream tanks. Yum? That general process was supported by another employee who took to Reddit to share just how bad it could get. They say they worked at one location that just about never cleaned the machine out. We added new milk into the old milk over and over without first dumping the old milk out. Milk was a bad choice. In 2018, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution ran an article about a local Sonic that proved just how gross a less-than-sanitary restaurant is. Among the violations? Mold in the ice machine and ice cream mix being stored in a hand sink well above the correct temperature. They're definitely not alone in it either. Food Quality and Safety says keeping ice cream, frozen yogurt, and other dairy machines clean and sanitized is one of the biggest health and safety challenges many restaurants face. The inspector also noted black mold had fallen into the unprotected soft ice cream mix. But even if you get a sonic blast that has been properly made in a clean and sanitary environment, there's also the fact that it's just really bad for you. Depending on what type of blast you order and what toppings you choose, it's possible to get a dessert that has more calories than you should be eating in an entire day. The peanut butter and cookie dough, triple chocolate, turtle pecan, and even the banana split master blasts clock in at around 2,000 calories each, and they're all hovering around 100 grams of fat as well. The peanut butter and cookie dough has an almost unthinkable 144 grams of fat. The shakes aren't much better, and even the basic hot fudge sundae has 520 calories and 26 grams of fat. So next time you're at Sonic, do the smart thing and stick to the burgers and fries. For once, they may actually be the healthier option.